Seeing is believing. This idiom implies that everything you see is the truth, but according to the brain, it is not. If you are abandoned in a desert, starving with no food, you may visualize a stack of fresh soft panic cakes floating above the sand, but are they really there? In this example, I'm going to have you try out a blind spot. Cover your left eye and stare at the cross in the yellow section. Then notice the dot on the other side, but do not concentrate on that. Just know it is there. Then slowly move forward until the dot on the green section disappears. This is what everybody calls a blind spot. The basic structure of the eye includes the cornea, iris, pupil, lens, vitreous, retina, macula, and optic nerve. The optical nerve head, which processes information from the eye to the brain, has no photoreceptors. Therefore, the brain doesn't perceive there's anything there. However, you can only see a blind spot with one eye covered because both of your eyes give you more visual. The blind spot was founded by Edmé Marriott in Paris, France. In the 1660s, scientists thought the point where the optical nerve entered the eye was the most sensitive portion. However, he discovered it was the opposite. By placing a coin at a certain point of the eye, he found that it had disappeared. He then discovered the blind spots. A very common blind spot is in cars. Between 2009 and 2011, blind spot crashes increased by 50%. The Society of Automotive Engineers recommend you adjust your side mirrors so you aren't going to see your vehicle as much. This will give you the ability to see in your blind spots of your vehicle. In news reports, they have found that the taller and longer your car is, it will have an effect on how big your blind spot is. The bigger the car, the bigger the blind spot area. People are now using cameras to assist them with blind spots all around their cars. Everybody's brain is imperfect. Our brains try and make sense of things. Whatever our brains tell us seems right, but it's not always. Lots of people say, if I see it, I will believe it. But usually we see what we really want in our brain. So sometimes our brains try and trick us of seeing that thing, but really it is the other. Our memory will also do this to us. That is why seeing is believing and believing is seeing walk hand in hand.